Hey beauty. So the news stated that developed nations um are pledging over four hundred and fifty million US dollars to help uh basically developing countries, countries that are struggling, struggling states and so on, vulnerable states. Um and I think you know, if my memory serves me correctly, Jamaica would fall under that umbrella in being one of the countries to be assisted, you know, from the developed countries. I'm happy, but I'm also fearful at the same time because Jamaica has been one of those Caribbean countries that has been favored tremendously by other countries, other developed countries, love our country. They love to come. The number of people that we never thought would have come to our country, they come. The only other person that I said should come now, two individuals, Trump and Oprah Winfrey, and perhaps Elon Musk, as in really popularly known people, very popular people, very wealthy people. That's what I mean. And Jeff Bezos, that's my name. I want to make sure because the last time I call him Pesos. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I really am not good with the names. And, uh, you know, and some others. The number of donations that this country has gotten, I've often said that even though private sector is about profit making, the kinds of donation that the public sector gets, they're almost neck and neck in terms of the private sector. So maybe you could say private sector would be likened down to a Usain Bolt in his hey, hey, day. And uh, the public sector would be likened down to let us use Johan Blake in his hey, day when he came second to um, Usain. And the time was still fantastic, you know. <laughs> in, and in their hey, days, I'm talking now, you know. But there, it's, it's inching closely to the private sector. Because money is coming all angles, consistently through tax, or tax paying people, um, grants, aids, loans, sponsors. So beautiful people, beauties. So, you know, um, right. And in terms of the aids and the grants and the loans and the sponsorships and the taxes and... I mean, money comes to the public sector, left, right, center, up, down, all around, north, east, south, west, north, east, south, west. I mean, I do, <laughs> north, north, east, south, south, west. <laughs> and the Jamaican people still don't really and truly benefit. I'm so afraid. I said to, I was even thinking in my mind, I said, you know, if somehow they could get, if they were to give Jamaica, they just go to every household and sponsor us. I don't care if people want to think, Lord, they're going to leave them. Leave them, let them squander it if that are the case. Because the amount of squandering that the, our leaders, our government officials have squandered, and I'm not speaking specifically to this government, I'm talking over the years. This has been the cry. So if this one time the Jamaican people do it, leave them alone, you don't know. Maybe this time they will change and be good stewards. If only somehow they could get to our accounts separately and give it to us, I would mind that. I don't want nobody to tell me, oh, the country need the roads and the number, the amount of money, sorry, that has come in for the roads, for the this, for all the schools, building hospitals. I mean, raising cow, cat, dog, rat, roach. And, and a lot of them have not been done. I wish these developed nations that pledge... The, and, you know, I know it's the two, it's across the board, it will be sheared up. That whatever amount would be coming, I don't, if I heard something like a hundred and something to become to million to be coming to Jamaica. But, listen to me, I would not mind. I would not mind. If, you know, um, the, the, they, these people just say, you know what, we're giving it to the people themselves. We're not giving it to them. Miss, honestly, I wish God could have just moved upon them heart, them mind, them soul, them body, them spirit, them flesh, them every part. And they just give it to the Jamaican people. No, sir, I, do, I wouldn't want to hear. Because I know if this money is given to us, no, no, we're not going to hear gunfire about it. We're not seeing nothing happen. Well, in terms of something meaningful to the country and its people. Oh, how I wish the Holy Spirit would have moved upon them developed 
nations and its people who are pledging whatever amount that will come to Jamaica and give directly to the people. I don't care if people want to say they're going this, the, I, I wouldn't mind that. One time at least make the Jamaican people happy. The Jamaican people need to feel what it feels like to hold some good money in their hands so they can charter their course, their lives in a much better way. Because this has been a country that has not, by and large, helped its people over the years. If that were the case, we wouldn't have so many migrants. We would not have had so many migrants. And people say, boy, it's rough over there, but it's still better financially. Can you imagine that? Not one person can say they're doing better here than over there financially. Three quarters of the country, it, it come like his, if an auntie own it, and his niece own it, or the mother, or the father, the grandfather, the cousin, the sister, or the friend owns this, is a leader of that, heads up this department, whether they're qualified, yes or no. And all the qualified people, they're scraping and waiting for the little droplings, the termite droppings, to survive, to live. Because they say, boy, we're patriotic. Love Jamaica. Can I not really want to leave like myself here? This idiotic me. But I hear some ban. So my patriotism is fear. It is just. The number of Jamaicans who have had to, in a broken hearted way, leave their country because they would not survive. Especially when they have chick, chick child and picking and everybody. It's a shame and a disgrace. Because, you know, I remember years ago, I was I mean, there was a message that the late, great, and the esteemed, the notable Dr. Miles Monroe, the best preacher, speaker, I call him, in the world, in terms of his knowledge. And he said, for every $100 that the, Jamaican, the Jamaicans earn, $50 is taken out and given back to the country. So he said, right away, it tells you that they don't want anybody to make it to be wealthy. For every $100 that they earn, $50 is taken out. Let us examine the salaries. So, for example, the average public sector worker may be getting a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars per month. Let us say, perhaps after tax, that is really before tax, you know. And twenty percent is increased. Twenty percent. I don't even know what is twenty percent of. Maybe what twenty percent of two hundred is how much? If it's a twenty percent, is yearly? Well, it still work out the monthly amount. So ten would be twenty. So far. Is it 40? And then that is tax. So when you don't tax this and that, you probably only get back 10% or 11% or 12%. So you only get 220. Remember, you know, I'm just giving a figure that 200 because the 200 is also taxed. So you really don't take, you just take a step forward, but three backwards. And then now you have the creme de la creme people who are made much better than the 100,000 people. Getting a hundred percent, two hundred percent, three hundred percent increase in one sweep, notwithstanding the prior, the ones be earth form, the former ones, you know, the ones earning the hundred and the two hundred thousand dollars per month, their twenty percent is split, so it's not in one sweep, it's not twenty percent in one go, as Jamaicans would say, five then ten then five or ten then five then five, something like that, and I think it carries over until the next fi uh, financial financial year. So it's not in one sweep. While the the hundred percent, two hundred percent, three hundred percent increases are in one sweep, one boom. On salaries like eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, a million dollars per month, for example. Eh? Mister, I'll know. Me can't figure out what they It now resonate well right here, in my head. I cannot fathom it. I cannot comprehend it. It is above me. Developed, eh? I honestly wish somehow God would move upon the, those, the powers that be from those developed countries to give it to the Jamaican people directly. I don't want it to go to no government official, no powers that be. It comes straight to us. Whatever tax we need to pay, we pay it, and then the rest we keep for ourselves. No problem. Don't have a problem where that is concerned. Honestly, if they're going to help us, I really hope that that is what happens because this is madness. Let us see what will happen for the public sector workers come this Christmas, Dr. Nigel Clark. 
Minister of Finance. Or them call you the best minister of finance ever. Guys, follow me.